welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video i'm back with another haul and this one i feel like is just so appropriate for right now because i actually have a wedding on saturday and it's now monday so i really needed this because i had no clue what to wear um so this is a wedding guest outfit haul that is a mouthful but i do think being a wedding guest it is quite tricky because I don't know I feel like it is a tricky one especially in the summer when it's so hot can I just say it's 27 degrees right now so if my makeup is like sweating off my face or I just look a hot mess I am a hot mess so that is why um but yeah I've picked up six one two three four f five I've picked up five dresses um I ordered all these because like I say I literally did not know what to wear for a wedding um and tried them all on and after I've already tried them on and I think I know which one I'm gonna wear um but yeah nevertheless thought this would be really helpful for any of you guys that have any weddings coming up and let's get on to the video okay first up is what I consider just a classic staple for like any summer occasion wear like dressier parties garden parties you name it and it is a slip dress so I mean slip dresses you can't go wrong I wore a slip dress to two weddings last year I had like a gold one and um, I think it was a green one and this one is red it's literally just your basic classic slip it's from Zara um, and this one was $29.99 the material is light and floaty which I think is perfect for a summer wedding because sometimes when it's a lot of fabric you just you're sweating aren't you um, but I just like that this is really long and floaty I think it's elegant I think it's beautiful um, and I really do like this. It's got adjustable straps, which is amazing. So you can kind of have a bit more fuller coverage if you don't want to get your boobs out, which for a wedding, I think it's probably best. Um, but I also, I ordered this in a size medium and a size small because I just wasn't sure if the small was going to be too tight. I wanted it to be really floaty. Um, I've gone with the medium. The small will be getting returned. And yeah, I just think this is nice. And even for just like on holiday, um, for a dressier night or I would style this down with sandals I also think it looks lovely so even if I don't wear this to the wedding I'm going to keep this anyway because I just think it's a summer staple for your wardrobe. Next up is something really cute and girly and I feel like you just can't go wrong with a really girly number for a wedding um, and this is a little floral print dress. The material on this is really light and floaty so I feel like it's going to be perfect for summer weddings especially if it's as hot as it is today um you're not going to be comf uncomfortable at all it's got this elasticated waist so it's really stretchy around your waist and then it's kind of got like a tiered structure coming down the skirt it's really flattering on feels really secure um and I think I'd be very comfortable wearing this all day this is also from Zara. I got it in a size medium and it was $29.99. Got the little lace details here. And I'd probably sell this with like some wedges and a little like basket bag. I think that's very summer. You could even get a cute little fascinator. Beautiful. This is dangerous because again, even if I don't wear it for the wedding, it would be a gorgeous little summer party dress and I don't really want to part with it. But when I ordered all this stuff, I intended on keeping one. And looking at the pile I'm keeping them all. I love this because I also think if it's not peak summer you could throw a really nice blazer over your shoulders even one of the colours like a baby blue one or a pink one and it would look really nice and it's going to keep you warm sometimes if for example someone's getting married in a church it could be quite cold in there um so I think this is again just like a really nice easy thing to wear you can really see the shape a little bit more there and I feel like I will actually get a lot of wear out of this. Next up is the next two dresses I don't know if they're a little bit too summer party and not wedding enough I don't know if they're dressy enough if you know what I mean um the first one is this beautiful little blue number it's got little daisies on the front I do think it's really cute and I think with your hair up like this it just looks gorgeous but like I say I don't know if it's just a little bit too casual for a wedding I don't think I would wear this it's got an elasticated back so it's really comfortable cup details a little bit of frill and then buttons down the front with a slit leg which is gorgeous I do prefer going for like a longer option for weddings I just feel like I don't know in the summer I'd rather have my chest out and have my legs covered um and sometimes I think both is a bit much um so I do really like a longer dress I think it's classy and elegant and looks really nice um, with a little wedge in the summer. This one is also from Zara. I do think Zara are great for like 
dressier dresses um, and I really did raid them. It was $29.99 as well and I got this one in size medium too. I definitely suggest sizing up because I'm like an 8 slash 10 and I wear small slash medium but I got medium in basically all of these dresses I think. Yes I did and the fit is really nice. You don't want it too skin tight where you're like literally sucked in. I think for weddings a floatier option is always something that I'm going to go for because we all know comfort is key. So yeah, even though I love this dress, I just think, again, it's more suited to some little woven sandals, a little basket bag, and sitting in the garden drinking a gin. So I'm probably going to keep it, and I'm not wearing it to the wedding. Next up, again from Zara, is this green dress. I absolutely love this. Like, I think it is stunning. It's got these really thin straps, um, but you can tighten them because you can tie this at the back so you can, again adjust the girls keep them secure and pull them in it's got a really nice low back with a zip and down the front is similar button detail to the other one and a slit leg this just looks really classy on the fit is gorgeous because it's tight around your boobs but really floaty down the rest of your body i got it in a size medium again and it was 29.99 Every dress from Zara has been $29.99, wow. I think the colour of this is beautiful. I'd pair it probably with white heels and a little white bag and I just think it's a lovely dress. It's not something that is just tailored to a wedding. Like I could wear this to a wedding but then wear it to like parties afterwards. Um, just love it. It could be dressed up or down. I know this is a wedding haul but you know you've got to see versatility. I'm not really, you know, into buying a dress just for one thing. I want to be able to get a lot of wear out of it. Um, but yeah, I think this is gorgeous. I'm into the colour. I love green this season. And again, you could pop a cute little fascinator on or a little hat and it would look very beautiful. Okay, the last dress needs... It needs its own video, if I'm honest. If you watch my weekly vlogs, you will have already seen this dress and you would have heard me talk about it. But it is beautiful. And I think after trying them all on, this is the dress I'm going to wear. Granted, if it's as hot as it is today... I am going to be dripping with sweat, but it's worth it because when I put this dress on, I felt like a princess. I absolutely loved it. This is the dress. So it's this red boob tube dress. This just feels more wedding to me. This feels very like dressy and put together and chic and glam and I just love it. You're going to be able to see better on the try on clips, but it's got this beautiful lace trim at the bottom. Um, it's structured, it's heavy, and it's just honestly gorgeous. It's from the brand Nadine Murabi. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, um, but of course, everything will be linked down below. And I got this in a small slash medium. So their size is a small, small slash medium, medium, large, I think. Um, and I actually sent them my measurements, so they then said which size they think. And this fits like a glove, because I was torn between do I go for a small or small slash medium with it being boob tube you obviously want it to be really tight and fitted you don't want any nip slips when the bride is walking down the aisle um but this is honestly gorgeous it's got the most beautiful pleat detail it's so flattering it makes your waist look small and i actually tried this on um and i think i'll wear my hair like this in the bun with the bits down because there's a lot going on with the dress i think hair up is the way it needs to be just all about the dress so i think this is the one i'm going to wear and this is the type of dress that will just be in my wardrobe for years. Like, I can imagine wearing this to Ladies' Day, the races. Um, it's just stunning. Looking at the dresses I've got, I've actually decided that I'm going to keep this one for the day after the wedding. Is like a barbecue. Um, so I could wear this with some wedges and it's still like a nice dressy but more kind of like daytime vibe. So you're staying and you're coming to the wedding with me. You're all staying just for future life. And that is everything from today's haul guys, a little quick one just to hopefully give you some inspiration for what to wear or where to start looking for a summer wedding. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you did enjoy it and as always I will see you in Sunday's vid. Bye!